Hey everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina. I had a lot of your requests on um, if you can use the Sizzix Extra Large or Originals dies in your Cuddlebug machine. So I thought I would just go through all the different types of uh, products that your uh, companies that you can use in your Cuddlebug machine. So this is my Cuddlebug, and well, actually, it's my mother's Cuddlebug. She let me borrow it. Um, your Cuddlebug comes with a couple different plates. You have your A plate, a C plate, and then two in my case very well loved B plates so let me just go ahead and show you first how to use the um, we'll start with let's start with the uh, Provo Craft Cuddlebug dies so I'm just gonna go ahead and I have um, my sandwich for the Provo Craft dies and these are like wafer kinda of thin dies is A plate B plate your Cuddlebug die a piece of cardstock and plate another B plate. So we're just going to go ahead and run that through my machine here and show you what that looks like. Okay, so that is the Provocraft Cuddle Bug die. Sizzix also has a die, a wafer thin die. This one is a Sizzlet, Sizzlet's die. So let me just show you how to use that one. Um, it's the same sandwich. You're going to use your A plate, your B plate, your die, your cardstock, and your B plate. Let's go ahead and run that through. So that is my Sizzix die. Oops. So there we go. That's that. Okay, you can also use embossing folders on your Sizzix or your Cuddlebug. This one is a Sizzix. This is one of the Tim Holtz textured fades. So I thought I would just go ahead and show you that one. But Provocraft also has their own Cuddlebug folders. But there's so many different ones out there. So let me just go ahead and show you this one. For this one, you're going to use your A plate, your B plate, your embossing folder with your cardstock on the inside. And I'm going to put this sideways because my paper is a little bit bigger. And then another B plate. And then you're going to go ahead and run that through. And there you go. There's your textured. My cardstock was a little thick. But that's your textured uh, cardstock. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is the bigs or no let's do the nestabilities next um, for the nestabilities you're going to need an A plate oops sorry about that a C plate your nestabilities die and that's what these look like and the blade is on the center part so you want to have your blade facing up your piece of cardstock and a B plate Okay. What I do is I usually hold my finger right in the center because I want to leave my card stock on my Nestabilities die because I'm going to go ahead and emboss this now and I'm going to emboss a ridge going around the outside of the, the cut. So I'm going to take out my C plate. I'm leaving my A plate. I'm going to add a B plate. My die. A Spellbinders rubber mat, but you can also buy um, rubber mats at the hardware store, or you can also go to um, and buy a silicone mat that you would use or silicone baking sheets. I bought a brownie sheet and cut mine once because I didn't have the mat. And then you're going to also need two pieces of a very lightweight cardstock. This is extremely lightweight. It's kind of um, or chipboard I'd rather but you can also just use two pieces of cardstock but it does vary per machine so you might want to test it and then another B plate. We'll go ahead and run that through and then I'll show you what that looks like with the embossed edge on it. Okay so there you go that's the embossed edge for the nestabilities. And then the last thing I'm going to show you, <clears throat> excuse me, is how to use the Sizzix Extra Large dies. 
and that's one everybody's always asking me for. Can you use the Sizzix Extra Large Dies? I have done a video on this in the past, but um, it was time to update. It was one of my first originals. So what you're going to need is your either Sizzix Extra Large, Bigs Extra Large Die, or your Originals Die, because both of them are going to work. And I'm going to go ahead and A plate my Sizzix Die, my piece of pattern, or cardstock rather, not pattern, and another B plate. run that through. Go ahead and remove the extra pieces and that is our cutout for that. Um, and you can also use medium weight chipboard. So we're going to go with the A plate, or the B plate rather, your extra large die or originals die from Sizzix, medium weight chipboard, and your embossing plate. As you can see, this one's gotten a little warped, so I'm going to actually put this one upside down to help keep it from getting any more warped and kind of straighten it out. So it is a little tight to run the medium weight chipboard through, but don't worry, it'll work just fine. So you just have to give it a couple of good cranks through. And, being difficult right now, there we go. There is your medium weight chipboard cut out with the extra large Sizzix die and the cuddlebug. Okay, so if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching another episode of Creations with Christina. See you next time. Bye!